Elf beautifully bare bare rash. Beautifully bla beautifully blair. Beautifully bare blush. Hello everybody, today I have a video for you guys that I have been trying to film three separate times. This is time number three, hopefully the third time is truly the charm. Today I have a little elf haul for you guys and I really honestly don't know why it's been so hard for me to film this video. But hopefully you can get through it today and I can show you guys all the goodies that I have received from Octoly and Elf. I'm pretty excited about them. As always, all of my opinions will be 1 million percent my own, but I am pretty excited to show you guys what I got. I have organized it in the little categories today, so we're going to start off with some lip products products and move to some face products and we're going to move to some eye products. Well, I guess just eye product. We only have one, but that is how things are going to go today. So I hope you guys are excited. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I really shouldn't have worn white for this video. I especially shouldn't have worn my mother's white sweater for this video because we have a lot of dark lipsticks to swatch. So hopefully I don't end up ruining her sweater, but uh, fingers crossed because I am pretty clumsy and yeah, basically a walking disaster. So hopefully I don't get these like dark burgundy lipsticks all over this white sweater. All right, first up we have three different lipsticks from e.l.f. We have a moisturizing lipstick and two velvet mattes. I'm very interested to test these out because they are very like deep vampy colors, which is one of my favorite types or colors or shades of lipstick. Um, so I'm very excited to test these out. First up we have a moisturizing lipstick in the shade Bordeaux Beauty. And this is supposedly new. It says new right here on the top. So let's go ahead and bust into this guy. Ow! I'm really trying not to destroy my nails. I have them painted in this like kind of crazy blue and I want to keep them decently nice. Ooh, this is a super super deep like wine color. I guess Bordeaux makes sense with that. So let's get a swatch here. They never look as deep in the swatch as they do in the lipstick, obviously, but I think that's pretty close and I think it's really pretty. Next up, we have a velvet matte lipstick in the shade Vampy Violet. And again, very interesting packaging to open. I'm just gonna rip into this. I can't do this video again. If this one's terrible, it's just gonna go up anyway. But I'm just gonna tear into this packaging. Ooh, this one is a dark. Pretty excited to see how this goes on to the skin. Wow, why am I so bad at swatching in the camera? Hold on. All right, here is Vampy Violet next to Bordeaux Beauty. This one is a matte and this one is a moisturizing lipstick. Um, Vampy Violet went on a little bit patchy, I have to say. It didn't give me the full coverage I was expecting with a velvet matte lipstick, but it is a very, very, very deep violet color. Uh, I think it's really pretty, but I think you might have to maneuver this a little bit to be able to get full opacity. All right, and last up for the actual lipsticks, we have another velvet matte lipstick in the shade Deep Burgundy. This one sounds very pretty to me. I do like my really deep burgundies and blood reds, so let's get in here. And this one looks like it's going to be a shade right up my alley, so let's go ahead and get a little swatch. It is so hard to swatch in the camera. Ugh, okay. So there it is, swatched just a little bit. I'm gonna go add a couple more layers to really get that pigment on there. All right, so here is a deep burgundy swatched. It is a very pretty color, but again, I did have to work with it a little bit to build up full pigment. All right, so those were the three standard lipsticks I got. Next up, we have a high shine liquid lipstick in the shade Crushed Berries. Going on with this like deep kind of dark vampy vibe, we have this liquid lipstick. And I've never actually tried this formula from e.l.f., so I'm excited about this. All right, and here is the liquid lipstick shade Crushed Berry swatched on the skin. I think this is beautiful. I actually almost prefer these over the regular lipsticks. The pigmentation is great. I like that shine and gloss to it. I think this is super, super pretty. It glided on very nicely. I did have to dip it in twice to the tube here. The doe foot didn't really pick up too much the first go around, but I think this is an absolutely beautiful color. All right, next up in lip colors, we have this matte lip color, which is like a crayon type pencil pen type thing. So it's not a liquid or anything like that, but this is in the color praline or the shade praline. I literally swatched this in the worst place ever. All right, so this is the shade praline. It is definitely matte. It went on a nice and a creamy though and I really really like this color it is a more it is a more peachy nude but I think it's really pretty I'm excited to use this all right now we're moving into more like glossy type lip products first up we have something new from elf this is a tinted lip oil in the shade coral kiss and this looks like extra pink this isn't a shade I would typically wear but if it's just a lip 
tint, then maybe it won't be too crazy pink. All right, here is Coral Kiss swatched on my wrist, and I take back what I said. I think this is actually going to be really pretty. I don't think it gives too much of a pinky pink color. It actually turns out a little bit more warm on the skin, and I think it's going to make your lips look real juicy. So <laughs> I actually think I'm going to enjoy this. All right, next up we have a Gotta Go lip tint in the shade Perfect Peach, and this one looks real intimidating because the lipstick itself looks literally neon orange. This is actually pretty surprising. I have tested this out because in the actual tube, it literally looks just like orange, but then when you swatch it on the skin, it does turn out kind of like a pretty corally peachy pink. So if you can see here, as I rub it around on my skin, it really isn't coming off orange, at least to me. It is more of a peachy pink color, and it is just a nice subtle hint of color, nothing too crazy, so I think that's actually pretty cool. All right, and last up for the lips, we have this Aqua Beauty Radiant Gel Lip Tint in Misty Mulberry, and this I have tried out as well, and it is weird. At first, I thought it was literally just black because in the container it literally looks black so I had to but oh my nails match it look how cool all right sorry I got excited anyway it literally looks black in the container so I got kind of excited so I had to test this one out so I've actually tested this out two different ways I tried it directly on my lips and then I tried it over top of another lipstick and I think the second way works a lot better just on the lips like it looks kind of cool it looks kind of like a jelly glossy lip stain at first but then it went away really quickly but on top of another liquid lipstick it just kind of made it look like extra vampy and cool. All right, so that's all the lip products I have for you guys today. Now let's move into some face stuff. I have two different foundations here. We have a foundation in the shade Light Ivory and then another one in the shade Alabaster. Both of these foundations have SPF 15 in them and boy, do they smell just like sunscreen. Um, I don't really pick up any other fragrance besides straight up sunscreen. So I'm wondering how the flashback would be with these guys. All right, here they are pumped out into my skin. Right here we have Light Ivory and this is Alabaster. It is a pretty thick foundation foundation. If you can see, it isn't really slipping around, but they are definitely, definitely different in color. Light Ivory, which is what I'm swatching right now, is more on the yellow tone side, and then Alabaster over here is definitely on the pinky peach side. All right, next up we have two little palettes here. These are their quads. This is a blush palette in the shade Light, and this is a contour palette. This contour palette looks kind of dark here in the actual little picture, but when you open it up, it's super, super light. And I don't really know if this could like work for people with a a much darker complexion than mine like this is incredibly light let me get a couple little swatches here to show you guys so here's the contour shade and this is the more like bronzy shade the other two probably won't even show up on camera one of these is an eye brightening powder and the other one's a highlighter Honestly, I can't tell which one is which because the highlight really isn't much of a highlighter. And then we have the quad blush palette here. I have had one of the blush palettes before from e.l.f. and I actually really like it. This one is a little bit different for me. We have an orangey blush over here. Then we have a this color blush. What is that? Pink? Lavender? Lilac? I don't know. And then a more berry blush. And this one over here has little golden shimmers in it and it's more of a coral. I'm gonna do this little like Wolverine swatch here and show you guys how they all look at one time. So here we have that more like orangey blush, that corally blush, and then the two other like pinky purple blushes. They swatch okay. They're decently pigmented, but a little bit patchy if you guys can see. All right, next up we have a Beautifully Bare Lightweight Concealer Stick in the shade Fair Light. I've tried Elf... I've tried e.l.f. concealers before, and honestly, they haven't been my favorite, but I have never tried this one, so let me try to get it out. There we go. So hopefully this one works a little bit better. All right, here is the concealer swatched on my skin, and honestly, it looks a little bit deep for me. If I wanted to use this under my eye, I think it might do the opposite of what I want, because I want something that's brightening under the eye, uh, but maybe for spot concealing, I could use this. It does feel pretty creamy. It went on pretty nice, and it does look pretty pigmented. So this is what I'm going to have to test out, but for right now, it's really not blending into my skin too well. All right, next up we have two highlighters from e.l.f., and they're both the same one, so I'm just going to swatch one of them for you guys. Um, I have already swatched these, and to be honest, they were terrible when I first tried them. So I went online, and I was like, how is this even being sold? Because literally nothing is happening. And I saw people say that you have to scrape off the first layer before you can actually get down to like the highlight. So I went ahead and did that to one of them and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so here's the highlighter that I actually scraped off of so you can get pigmentation from it. It's pretty, it casts 
matches the light. It might be a little bit too deep for me actually. If you guys can see the difference in pigmentation there, this is one that I scraped off the top layer and this is one that I didn't. So it definitely makes a huge difference, especially if you want to use a brush with this. Because I used a brush with the one that I didn't scrape off and it literally like nothing happened. So make sure if you're going to get one of these that you do get off that top like rough layer before you use them. Alright guys, we are coming to an end. This is our last face product. This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare... Bare... Rash. Beautifully Bla... Beautifully Blair. Beautifully Blair. Beautifully Bare Blush. <laughs> that was literally such a struggle. Okay. Elf Beautifully Bare Blush in the shade Peach Perfection. And this is what the blush looks like. It definitely is a very peachy color and this is a cream blush, but to me it feels a little oily going on my skin and on my finger. Um, I would definitely say this is more of a no makeup look blush or if you're already not wearing like foundation and you just wanna tap this onto your cheeks to give a little bit of a glow. Um, but this isn't really my favorite type of blush. To me, it looks a little bit patchy on the skin. All right, last but not least, we have this e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. And this looks really pretty to me. I like these very neutral, nudey colors, especially if you throw in the words rose gold. That, like, attracts me to it immediately. So this is what it looks like. I'm definitely getting, like, kind of naked palette vibes from this. Nothing too extraordinary when you're looking at it. I have used this one time before, and this eyeshadow shadow down here I just really wasn't a huge fan of. It didn't go on the lids very well. It really didn't blend out that nicely. It looks nicely pigmented like on the finger swatch but for some reason I really couldn't get it to work for me. There are others in here that are really pretty especially this one here which is this one here. Um, they don't have names or anything or I would tell you guys. I don't know it's a decent palette. I don't think it's anything like revolutionary. The colors are pretty standard and the formula is okay but it's not my favorite. Alright everybody that's everything I had in my little elf haul for you guys today. Today, there's a literal disaster in front of me like boxes galore just everywhere so I need to go clean this up before I get going to class but I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day thank you so very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already it would really really mean the world to me plus we do have our current giveaway going on right now all you have to do is be subscribed go comment on the giveaway video and yeah you're entered to win some lovely Colourpop and Hello Kitty items but anyway I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you next time bye Bye.